A Minnesota baby boy's death-defying journey is captivating thousands of people. Henry Dolan was born premature. His parents say that doctors gave him a 2% chance to survive. Now, he's eight months old. And when you hear what it took for him to make it this far, it's hard to believe. Or is it? WCCO's Jeff Wagner explains how Henry's defying the odds over and over again. Miracles come in all sizes. And this little one from Annandale? I think Minnesota looks great on him. Keeps getting larger and stronger every day. I'm such a big boy. There's no denying that for Henry Dolan with his chubby cheeks. Hi, handsome. And sweet smile his parents promise he shows often. He's just a little sleepy. When she comes walking into the room, that's the deal breaker. He'll light up. I get most of my smiles right away when he wakes up and sees me. Hard to believe those smiles are shared by mom and dad when your child's crib is a hospital bed and his room is in the intensive care unit. This little guy was given a 2% chance of survival, so we're pretty thrilled. An emotion at one point they never thought they'd feel. It was scary. Henry was born premature with two serious heart defects. The team was pretty much telling us that Henry was in this, what they call, honeymoon phase where everything's going to kind of go pretty relatively smooth for this first um, week of life and that um, next week he probably wouldn't um, still be here. The Dolans scrambled to take family photos. Counselors came in to explain to Henry's older sisters why he might never come home. We're all kind of mentally prepared that these would probably be our last few days with him. And every day he got stronger and stronger. But his heart struggled to keep up. Just when we thought we were doing really good, oh, something would happen. Henry was flown to Children's Hospital in St. Louis where he would have his first heart surgery. Right after surgery, he went into cardiac arrest. He battled through it, but that wasn't enough. Weeks later, Henry got a heart transplant. He was really sick coming out of it, too, and uh, had a really rocky, really rocky first month after that heart transplant. The physical and mental toll weighed constantly on his parents. Even when you feel like there's nothing left, there's always hope. And the Dolans often found it online. Through a Facebook page, Henry's mother started to track his progress. Support and prayers came pouring in through comments and messages. The page now has more than 11,000 followers, each giving Molly Dolan strength when she was weak. Just going to my page and just reading some of the um, messages, the encouraging messages that people would, would send would just really, really help. Strangers and neighbors rallying around them like a team. Let's go, let's go. Skip Dolan coaches the Annandale High School basketball team and softball team. He's also Henry's grandfather. So when his players and their parents learned of Henry's struggle, they stepped up, raising money through Hope for Henry bracelets. Everyone on the team wears one, and right before game time, hangs them on this tree, which sits next to a jersey, declaring Henry an honorary teammate. The number 13 is what his dad wore when he used to play. For them to do that for Henry, I hope someday he gets there to wear that jersey. Think strong enough to be able to run up and down that court. Modern medicine and a donor's heart undoubtedly have given Henry his fighting chance, but his parents say their faith. I think certainly somebody's been watching out for him. And their community. We just want to make sure to thank everybody. I can't emphasize that enough. Are what makes a miracle out of their baby boy. Are you such a brave boy? Are you so strong? There are so many more stories the Dolans told me of how people helped them. Some would deliver meals to their home, and when Sam, his father, would go to visit Henry and his wife in St. Louis, he says he'd come home to a completely clean house. There's also a GoFundMe page set up that's been raising money for their travel and medical expenses. It's already raised more than $26,000, and if you'd like to donate, we've got a link on WCCO.com slash accomplish MN. So we keep calling this hope for Henry, but yes. I feel like people are getting hope, hope from them. him because of his journey. I think you're right. And it's sure. wonderful to see everybody coming together like that. And how is he doing? Uh, just around New Year's, he was finally out of ICU for mm -hmm. the first time, got sick, had to go back, but he's back out of it again. The goal, his mother told me, is to hopefully have him home by his first birthday, which is in May. Well, hopefully. Wish him all the luck in the world. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Strong people. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jeff. Yep. Thanks, Jeff.